Welcome. Over the next two weeks, we will use the troposphere, which is the zone of atmosphere in contact with the Earth's surface, to introduce some basic definitions and conceptualizations of matter. Understanding the structure of matter at a microscopic scale helps us understand its behavior. And that, after all, is the goal of chemistry. Matter occupies space and has mass. Matter is made up of atoms, and the atoms are recycled around the Earth over time. While not all chemical reactions involve living organisms, life on Earth is a key part of the cycling of elements between the atmosphere, zone of air, the hydrosphere, zone of water, and the lithosphere, zone of rocks. Indeed, the biosphere, the zone of life, includes all three. Matter on Earth commonly exists in three states. What we call air is a complex mixture of gases and very small particles in either a liquid or solid state. With respect to the biosphere, it is very difficult to overstate the importance of water and its unique properties and characteristics. Matter can be characterized in different ways. Most substances are compounds and occur in a mixture. For example, salt and water are both compounds. Chemical reactions change the form that matter is made of. This occurs by changing the bonds between the atoms. Some important chemical reactions occur in the atmosphere. This is a, just a more visible representation of the same information in the last slide. A lot of chemistry is based on the physical properties of chemicals. For example, salt water is a physical mixture of salt and water. As salt water freezes, which is a physical process, the salt is expelled from the ice. We can explain why this happens at the molecular level. Physical process involves changes in the association of molecules with each other, such as cutting paper or pushing the air out of a sponge with water. Chemical process involve a rearrangement of atoms to form different substances. Hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms react to form but the reaction occurs between two kinds of molecules depends on their chemical properties. Nuclear processes involve a rearrangement of the subatomic particles in the nucleus of an atom. Nuclear radiation, for example, describes the decay of an atom when a particle is released from the nucleus. Because elements are defined by what is in their nucleus, a change to the nucleus can mean the atom becomes a different element. We'll learn more about reactions between molecules in the next module.